lovely people, and welcome back to another episode of A Yearly in Japan. I'm so glad you're here. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I was just in BA, a rural area up in Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island. I'm still in Hokkaido now, but today I am going to Sapporo, the capital city of Hokkaido. I'm so excited to share it with you. I'm finally here in Sapporo and I'm so excited. I have about 24 hours here. It's 1 p.m. right now um, and tomorrow my flight leaves at 6 p.m. But I want to get to the airport early and it takes about an hour to get there. So a little more than 24 hours to explore Sapporo. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is get something to eat because I'm pretty hungry. So let's go get some lunch. When I started walking, I immediately saw this Omega Don Quixote store. If you're not familiar with Don Quixote, just wait because I'll be back here later. But first, lunch. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you won't be surprised that I chose to go to Koko Ichibana, my favorite chain curry restaurant, for lunch. This restaurant is all over Japan, and I love going here. I always get the same thing every time, which is the vegetarian curry with rice, scrambled egg, cheese, and spinach, and I also add some of the pickled daikon that they serve in the restaurants. A lot of people might not want to eat the same thing all the time, but personally, I'm kind of obsessed with this meal, and it's also a great and affordable option for a vegetarian like me. After some curry and some cold brew coffee, I'm ready to go and keep exploring. I'm in the main downtown area of Sapporo, and you may have noticed that as usual, I've muted the actual audio of my video, so let me show you what it actually sounds like here. It's very noisy, which is why I usually opt for a voiceover in my travel vlogs. Anyway, I'm here in the famous Suzukino district, a downtown area. Here you can see the iconic Nika whiskey advertisement as well as some other interesting sights like Santa and his elves climbing up a building. Another one of the most popular destinations in Sapporo is the Tanuki Koji shopping street. It's a huge covered shopping area that spans many blocks, so of course, I'm going to check it out. And I realized that from here, I can enter the Mega Don Quixote, so let's go inside and check it out. Don Quixote is the largest discount store in Japan, but it's so much more than that. It's very popular and has locations all throughout Japan, especially in the major cities. It sells pretty much everything you can think of. There's a lot of skincare and makeup products, but also things like clothing and even bicycles. I found this aisle full of unique and cute socks. Let's take a look at some of them. Here we have some curry socks that remind me of my lunch. Corn soup socks. Socks featuring a candy called cocoa sticks that look like cigarettes. And even chocolate pocky socks. After leaving Don Quixote, I continued to walk around. And of course I saw some fake food because this is Japan. They have fake food everywhere. And I found some real food, some delicious looking churros, but the only size they had was these super long churros and I wasn't that hungry so I didn't buy one. I kept walking and I came upon this capsule toy store. Capsule toy stores are quite popular in Japan. I've also seen them in Tokyo and Nagoya. There's all these different kinds of capsules that you can buy for usually between 100 yen and 400 yen. So less than like three dollars. There's all these different kinds of toys. There's animals, dolls, keepsakes, small bags, keychains, collectible cards, figurines that look like popular foods, and even collectible figurines of famous K-pop groups, which are also popular here in Japan. I could have stayed at Tanuki Koji Shopping Street all day, but there's so much more to see in Sapporo, including the very popular Odori Park, which is home to the Sapporo TV Tower. Before I came here, I was of course expecting to see the TV Tower, but what I was not expecting was how beautiful this park is, especially all the flowers that have been so carefully planted here. There were so many people and families out here, 
enjoying the beautiful day, eating street food, and just generally having a good time, and I was so happy to be a part of it. I spent at least an hour or two just walking around this park, enjoying the fresh air, and capturing some footage of this beautiful place. I hope that these snapshots are as peaceful and calming for you as this park was for me. Eventually I decided I better start heading to my hostel so I can go check in and the walk there was just as beautiful as the park itself. I saw this gorgeous canal lined with trees and flowers so of course I had to stop and smell the flowers on my way to my hostel. Here's the hostel where I will be staying. I actually already dropped off my suitcase earlier and now I can go check in and see the room where I'll be staying. This place had really good reviews on booking.com and this is not sponsored or anything but I'm really excited to share it with you. I reserved a bed in a six bed all female bedroom so let's go see what that looks like. Here's the room. I don't think anyone else is in here right now. The beds are made from this nice white wood and mine is this one up here on the top. Here I am now up on the bed. It's an interesting cross between a capsule in a capsule hotel and a bunk bed. I have my own personal light and of course my own private space. It's rather small so it's not a place I would like to book a long-term stay but for just a couple of nights it's perfect. It's not as large as the bed in the capsule hotel I stayed in in Tokyo in episode 5, but it's everything I need. On the back wall of my bed, there was this little lockbox, which was interesting to see. I have not seen this before in other places I've stayed. I thought this would be a great place to put my passport, although I made sure to make an extra strong mental note to take it with me when I leave. It's getting late now and I want to be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty sad and lonely. This is a reality of solo traveling that I don't want to shy away from. I spent some time in the bedroom thinking about what I could do to feel better and then it hit me. The perfect thing for me, a young person traveling alone in a new city on a Friday night, to do to feel better and less alone. Can you guess where I went? I went to a cat cafe. I love cats, I always have, and they have a way of making me happier without even trying. I immediately wanted to befriend this big majestic cat that I met, however, it seemed like he wasn't very interested. Eventually, he let me pet him, begrudgingly. There are so many beautiful cats here. Let's go meet some of them.
after a little while at the cat cafe, I ended up feeling a bit uncomfortable because I realized I was pretty much the only person there. So eventually, I decided to leave and walk back towards the hostel and see what I would find along the way. So let's go back out into the beautiful Sapporo night. Here's the Sapporo TV towers sparkling in the night sky. On my way back to the hostel, I stumbled upon this place called Pole Town, which turned out to be an entirely underground shopping mall. I decided to go here, which sounded very appealing to me because I was still lonely and the idea of being in a nicely lit place with lots of other people sounded great. So here I am, let's take a little stroll through Pole Town, see what this mall has to offer. There's lots of different shops and even some restaurants around here. Because this is Japan, the different eateries have this fake food out front so you can know what you're getting before you even order. I decided to treat myself to some ice cream at Baskin Robbins. It was comforting to see this chain because I used to go to Baskin Robbins with my family growing up. We have some familiar flavors such as Jamoka Almond Fudge and Rocky Road, as well as some uniquely Japanese flavors like Azuki or Red Bean. I was tempted by this platter of all the different flavors, but in the end I chose two. My go-to, strawberry shortcake, as well as this flavor I'd never seen before, Banana Split. And both were wonderful. Eventually, it was time to leave Pole Town and head back to the hostel for the night. I passed the famous Susukino district again, and just look how breathtaking it is at night. I'll also show you what it sounds like to give you a taste of Sapporo at night. <laughs> I walked across the street to experience this iconic downtown Sapporo area and then I did it again because why not? Now it's time to really head back to the hostel and I have a nice snack to eat. I didn't get footage of it earlier but I stumbled upon an international foods store and I got some chips and guacamole. You might be thinking, Kendall, you're in a new city in Japan, why are you having chips and guacamole? And the answer is, well, I've been craving tortilla chips and I haven't been able to find them in Japan. I've had so many kinds of wonderful Japanese food, but you know what I haven't been able to find? Tortilla chips or guacamole. So I was happy to have them for the first time in many months. Let's go get ready for bed. Here we are in the shared bathroom. It's very nice and clean and spacious. We have the toilets and sinks over there. And then to my left, we have the showers and thankfully one of them is open. Of course, the first thing to do is to remove my eye makeup. To be honest, I usually don't wear eye makeup because I really dislike removing it, but I do often wear it when I'm filming a video. Here's me with makeup on just one half of my face. I used to wear makeup every single day, but now I just do it when I feel like it and I've accepted myself both ways. If you're in the same boat as me, I wish the same for you. After a cozy shower and some skincare, it's finally time to go to bed in my little top bunk. It's been such a wonderful and interesting day, and I have so enjoyed sharing it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video, because tomorrow I will be in Sapporo for one more day and I will be seeking out the very best view of this beautiful city. So here's a sneak peek of our next episode. I hope I'll see you there. Bye for now.